What's up? It's your boy AD. And tonight, I'm jonesing with... Man! And tonight, we're jonesing on the Ciroc Black Raspberry. I appreciate you, you know, kind of join, let me join, kind of hang out with you at your humble abode and no uh, sharing a nice little drink with me. But I've been hunting for this Ciroc Black Raspberry. I uh, found it, had it for a couple weeks now, and I was like, you know what? We'll be in Charlotte for the holiday. I figured yeah. we'll um, bring on over and crack her through. This is a 750 milliliter bottle, so we say a fifth. Uh, it's 35% alcohol, so about average for all of um, Diddy's flavors, pretty much. Uh, black Raspberry, it's a limited edition, so if you really want to get it, you might want to uh, kind of go in and, and jump on it right away if you can find it, because like uh, Summer Colada, Summer Colada, they thought it wasn't going to come back. Diddy brought it back another another year, but Appreciate those, that, Diddy. Yeah, those limited editions are pretty much like that. Um, this is, I want to say, it's pretty close to Diddy's, like, 14th, uh, variation of Ciroc. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've done a couple Ciroc episodes, they've done really good, so, big thing about Ciroc, it is, uh, from French grapes versus, uh, wheat, which, uh, you know, some vodkas are wheat, some vodkas are potato. Uh, Diddy's chosen to go with French grapes. Um, it's, it's done really well because you know in any club you got sparklers popping and yeah. Ciroc floating through the air. So you know I think it's he, right, he, right. He, Ciroc he does it right. Yeah, he right. Yeah, Ciroc boys in the building tonight. Ciroc boys in the building. All right. Uh, uh, any you know anything about you? Do you do you drink Ciroc often? I drink Ciroc on occasion. You know, so uh, it's always a special occasion. But uh, I haven't been let down by any Ciroc. You know, when you go to ABC store. That's that's where you go to, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah it never lets you down. So, I don't know. I don't know what Ciroc actually means. I know. I know. I, I see the little the little label. You know, when you see that. Okay. But uh, the name Ciroc, I don't know what's that all about. Well, actually, um, Ciroc is a blend of words, but it essentially it's French words um, that mean summit or like the the high point, the peak. Okay. The peak. Uh, and I think that that's what that that little arrow that you see above oh, the eye okay. in Ciroc is okay. kind of a nod to. That's and, the, yeah, okay. I see and, what you're and, saying. If, and if you're selling a premium spirit, you want to be at the top. You yeah, be you want to be on the summit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure, sure. And if, if I'm wrong on that, somebody check my facts. But I feel like I'm pretty <laughs> tight with it. I feel like you tight too, especially when you put the, uh, the little ah, peak above the eye. You like that? So, yeah. Okay. You tried to throw me for a loop, but I'm good. I'm good. We drink. We uh, do. We yeah. know a little something. Um, so uh, I will just tell you, I'll probably try and get some. If you got any social media that you're going to share, we'll talk about what you got going on. Okay. Uh, any tipsy tales. But first, what we do around here yeah. is we crack this thing on open and we take some sips. Uh, we got house rules. We'll do two neat shots. Okay. Uh, and we'll do a couple shots on the rocks. we we'll kind of do some smelling and, you know, kind of do a couple tastes, see what we like, what we don't like. And we'll either call it a favorite, meaning that we like it, we'll buy it again, or we call it a flop. Right. Um, I don't know if I said it earlier, I think this bottle was about 29 30 bucks somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay, so it's average for a Ciroc bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. It wasn't overpriced. I will say, as I crack this thing on open, uh, this is probably, the, I mean, I thought the white bottle was nice, but this is the prettiest bottle out of all the ones. I mean, that black is, that black is pretty sleek. Yeah, I like that. And I always have a man versus bottle, but Diddy takes care of me. I can slide that thing on around there and pop her open. Well, sort of. Oh, it's a twist top. I think it's going to be a cork. Uh, all of them. <laughs> Maybe they're all twist tops. I don't know. So let's um, let's do what we do. Let's pour us a couple shots. All right. Pour the poison. There we go. Pour the poison. I don't even make my guests pour their own poison. I pour it for them. I appreciate it. Uh, we didn't chill it. Uh, flavors, I normally, if I was just, you know, hey, we were coming over to, to kick back some, I probably would have chilled that a little bit. But okay. we're going to we're gonna taste it neat, um, and then we'll do it on the rocks. So this is a black raspberry. Black raspberry. Did I say black cherry? I you might, you might have said black cherry. Well, it's <laughs> black raspberry. Okay, we've been pre-gaming just a little bit. Right. Um, but it is black 
raspberry. Right. All right, make sure we get that. Like raspberry. Take a good whiff. Ah, oh, what like do you think about that? Smell the flavor in it too. Mm -hmm. I don't get any like raspberry beret. If you know what I'm talking about. Raspberry. There you go. <laughs> I don't get any um, vodka odor. No, I don't get that. It's all. It's all. It's all raspberry. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. It's not well, overpowering. It's got a nice subtle, subtle smell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, around here, what we do is we call it clinking and drinking. Clink okay. them and drink them. So we clink them, and we drink them. Good on the lips. All right. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think first um, first sips? I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. And I'm not even a raspberry type of guy. Yeah. But uh, it's faint. It's like it's it's very like I said. It's really good though. I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So let, let's let's put it on the rocks. I've heard mixed reviews about it. Um, and I really thought it was gonna taste a lot differently than it does. But for for what it is, I mean, I, I'm, I'm like you. I'm not, you know, running up to the bar and saying, what do you have? Right. Uh, black raspberry. Right. I don't even eat black raspberries. Right. But um, from the initial shot, I mean, that wasn't that wasn't bad. Yeah. You know, most people, they, they go what they used to. They go on with strawberries. Are they doing peaches? Yeah. And things like that. They, they type, they, they tend to go away from raspberry because they like raspberry. That's not a fruit you go to often, but... That's that's a nice that's a nice flavor to it. Cause raspberry can be a little bit bitter. It can. A little it bit can, bitter. Yeah. How does it smell? It smells. It's not overpowering. It smells good. It gets a little fainter on the rocks. Right. It does. Clink them and drink them. Let's sip this thing. I wonder what that's gonna do. Cause that's real smooth. Mm hmm. Uh, you it know don't what? Even, it don't even have that bite. You know, sometimes you get that bite right there. No, nah, it don't Z, have that. zero bite. Um, one of our Jones and Man terms is we say alcoholic. It's no no alcoholic kind of fumes. Right. No burn. Um, I, I will say that on the first taste, I like I like the neat shot. Mm -hmm. On this taste, I got a little aftertaste, like right. a little like a little um. I don't, I don't know if it's called aspartame, what they put in chewing gum that's like mm -hmm. an artificial sweetener. I got yeah. a little bit of that on the end. You know what? Now that you mentioned that, I, I do taste that on my tongue. The neat shot was something I could throw back yeah. Yeah, with ease. Yeah. This one right here, I mean, you could sit down and, and take this Ciroc on the rocks, no pun intended, but it's, it's it does have a little aftertaste. It holds its own with the, with the, with the ice. It holds yeah. its own. You're still going to get the flavor. Yeah, I don't, I don't I'm, know. A, I'm a little skeptical on what it's gonna do to me, so I'm, I'm a little worried. You know, it might be because <laughs> it's, so, it's so light. It's, yeah, so it's light. real it's light. light. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Um. So the, the what we do now is after we kind of taste it, we we talk about whether we want to call it a favorite or a flop, and then why we say favorite or flop. Okay. Um. So what do you? I, I'll let you go first, Ad. I had to go back for that last little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the side and go back and see what's real with it. Yeah. One more, one more again. One more to side and sip. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I got you. It must be a favorite because I keep sipping on it. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. Um, you got to be careful with this one. Really, you do. Because the taste is so smooth. And it's just, if you're not a fan of Blackberry, it's it's not to where it's overpowering the drink. So, I'm going to call it a favorite. Yeah. I'm going to call it a favorite. Yeah. I really do. You know, I, I'm probably going to call it a favorite, too. Uh, I actually like the neat shot. The neat shot was pretty good. If, yeah, I, if, I, good. if I like, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel like I want to take it a little bit easier in right. my shots. Um, it had a little ah, oh, a little like little a little punch, little kiss yeah, on the it end. Yeah, it did. Um, I don't know. We got all these Prince references going on tonight, but <laughs> it had it had a little a little kiss on the end. Um, the neat, I mean, on the rocks, I didn't love it. I don't dislike it because it's 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 a mild flavor. The vodka's pretty much non-existent mm -hmm. uh, the the vodka heat is pretty much non-existent but it does have that aftertaste that um that you know I wouldn't I wouldn't drink glasses and glasses of this right what it does say to me is that I bet you it makes a fabulous mixed drink it does. Um, I, there's a recipe out there for like a black raspberry lemon drop 
Um, there's a there's another drink where you muddle black um, raspberries in the bottom, which I'm not I'm not big on muddling. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't like stuff floating in my drink. Only thing I like floating <laughs> in is ice. That's pretty much it. Um, but I, I you know I feel like we should probably take this to the side and probably mix up some some couple different recipes and see what we can get from it. But I, I I'll do the same. I say I think it's I think it's a favorite. Right. I, I've heard I've heard that it's not good, but I mean it's it's. Black raspberry vodka, um, neat, better score. On the rocks, you get that bitter flavor a little bit more, but I'm, I'm gonna call it a favorite. I, I, yeah, I have to agree. Yeah, I think that uh, putting some type of mix with it will complement it real well. And like you said, the 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 vodka heat is it isn't there, and that's yeah. what I like about it. Yeah, yeah, um, this, yeah. When you when you got the right squad over and you want to entertain a right. little bit. Oh, well, go ahead, let man, baby, have a little bit of that vodka right there. That's, right, that's right. Yeah. Go. So rock will never let you down yeah. when you're trying to get the party started. So yeah. I wouldn't shun away from from the bar and say, oh, I don't mess with the raspberry because the raspberry is it's inviting, mm -hmm. it's smooth, it's it's not overpowering. Uh, like you said, I like the neat better because it has that little that little that little kiss at the end. Yeah. But um, I'm not mad at it at all. Okay. I'm not mad at it at all. All right. Well, that's summertime you. drink, you know. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like it might be a summertime drink. I mean, I mean, you might get take it into the winter. You might. A little nice, like nice fruity kind of deal going on. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, I appreciate you kind of sharing, you know, that with us. Uh, I always ask the two things. One, social media. Anything that you want to share. And I know, AD, that uh, being one half of PIC, that y'all got a lot going on in the Queen City, y'all. And uh, you know, if you want to share any of that, any social media, any any hits that y'all got coming out, most definitely, most definitely. Look for us. Uh, you can catch us on Facebook. Follow PIC. Uh, I'm I'm AD. I got a, uh, my partner is Stepchild. He's not with us tonight, but Stepchild, check us out. Um, Stepchild, we gotta get you on. We gotta get you sipping. Definitely gotta get you sipping, buddy. Uh, check us out. We got a hit out there called Whistle. Actually, you'll hear it before the podcast end, and I hope you guys like it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bringing some real to the hip hop. That's right. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. So Rock Boys in the building. So Rock Boys in the building. All right. Um, and then also, I like for my guests, if, if they have one and they feel comfortable sharing yeah. what we like to call a tipsy tale. Oh, man. You know, we've all we've all oh, maybe boy. had one oh, too many. Oh, boy. Now, I, I personally <laughs> got a tipsy tale for you, AD, but I'm not going to tell yours. I'm going I'm, oh. I'm to keep that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep the fountain to myself. <laughs> oh, a tipsy tale. Let's see here. I got plenty of them. Um, some of them a little crazy. Some of them just kind of like, you know, PG. Uh, tipsy tail, uh, sometimes you can go too far, you know, you can go too far, you got a tolerance, and sometimes you just go past that tolerance, because what, what the heck, you do what you do, right, so, um, you know, when you hang with your boys, you expect somebody to make sure to keep an eye on you, you always have that designated guy, be like, hey, dude, watch me tonight, you know, because I might be on a little raspberry or whatever, watch me tonight, I, I must have forgot to assign somebody, <laughs> you know, that particular night, critical element, <laughs> critical element, you know, so once you go three, Six, nine in, you know, you feeling it. Everything's a little numb. You know how I get. Y'all been there. And um, the, the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to get anything that's going to be, uh, that you're going to, you're just going to be moving at a fast pace. You know what I'm saying? Definitely stay away from roller coasters. I'm roller saying, coaster, <laughs> cars, cars, buses, buses. You know what I'm saying? You want to you do that. So, um, and you might remember this. We was out, you know, back in the day. We was out and about. And, uh, you know, I felt something to brew it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was in the back seat. I don't know if I was being chauffeured or what the case was, but I know I was in the back seat. And uh, I, hit the, I hit the window because I knew something was up, you know. And as we was cruising down the strip, um, let's just say, if <laughs> as he might describe it, let's just say how you go to your, your grandmother's or your neighbor's house and they got that little water boy out there. And, and the water boy, you know, the water boy, <laughs> he's got the water coming out of his mouth, you know what I'm saying? Well, that, that, that is what we call a fountain. A fountain. That's a fountain. the word I was fountain. looking for, a fountain. 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 Let's just say yeah. I was a backseat fountain oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. one time in my Driving life. down the highway, I mean, yeah. I mean, I like car customizing. That right. used to be a big thing. I'm not. I'm getting older, it's not as much. Right. But I, I think that that was the only time I ever had a fountain in my whip. Right. Yeah. And I think I was in your whip. Yeah, you was in my whip. And it was a nice whip. So you know you can you can get like you can get crazy and be like I don't care I'm just I'm I'm belligerent basically I'm just blah all over the leather or whatever 
I wasn't doing it. I was respecting my man Whip. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so like, I, I gently pressed the pressed the power button for the window to go down. And when the window went down, I became that fountain. So I just kind of stuck my head out, you know, and just, you know, do what I do. And it went all the way down the strip, you know. And then I rode and went back up, you know, fixed myself up. Yeah. And, and, and that was it. So yeah. if you ever become a human fountain, you've been where I've been. You yeah, know that, what's up. There that, that was sleep involved in that. But <laughs> hey, he, here's to appreciating your partner's interior. For there sure. You go. There you go. Always appreciate he your partner's it. interior. Um, so, uh, so you know, I know you mentioned that. So what we hear right now is that. Is that is that is that you is that is that AD is that PIC that's PIC okay and that's the that's the track whistle um I, like I say I hope you like it you know what I'm saying it's about it's it's, it's real so if you like real hip hop if uh if, if hip hop is more than just lyrics and beats but it's something more spiritual for you something more personal for you then uh, check this check this song, uh, song out right here that's what you think that's legit that's legit well as as we um go out of here uh, as always. Uh, we appreciate everything our, our viewers, our Jonesers do. Uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram um, at, at jonesandman.com. Nah, I can't talk to you. At jonesandman.com. <laughs> Click that bell. Uh, we, we are pushing. We're at 700. We're about to hit 1,000. So, um, not 10,000 like I might have said in one of my other videos. Uh, and as always, I want you to have a happy holidays. Appreciate your partner's interior. AD, I appreciate you for coming out. No this question. Has been another Salute. episode of Jonesy Man. Clank him and drink. Creation, what he create? They amaze on what we in. So we blaze on every phrase, anointed on every page. Still consider ways, refuse to be enslaved to things frequently crave. No longer live in a day. Some sleep while others play. I'm hoping that it's a phase. Humble but keep it brave. Stumbling through this maze. What's worse is we afraid to search ancient of days from birth beyond the grave. My mental chest blaze. And my mental instrumental. Fit is a 